Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm so glad you tuned in. For those of you who are new, here we talk about Mexico and all things Mexico Spanish. We talk about phrases, we talk about things that aren't in textbooks and things that you wouldn't understand, all that kind of stuff. But today we're going to do something a little bit different. I thought it would be kind of fun to do a little baking tutorial on how to bake in Mexico. You would think it's pretty much the same, but there are a few things that are different. First we're going to start with ingredients. Oh, hi Negrito. Hi bud, how are you? Oh my dog. This is my dog Negrito. He... Hi bud, how are you? Negrito's been outside all day and he just saw the door open so he's happy to come inside. And I'm gonna wash my hands before we get started. What I'm going to do today is make a super easy shortbread. It just has three ingredients, butter, flour, and sugar. We are gonna start with el rosal, harina de trigo. This is your basic run-of-the-mill flour. Wait, is that where, is that where the phrase run-of-the-mill comes from? Because it's like milled flour, like this is basic run-of-the-mill, like the, the thing that most commonly runs out of the mill? I don't know, but this is a tradición familiar desde 1939. So this has been a family tradition since 1939. This is the same flour that a lot of people are gonna use for tortillas de harina, which is much more of a Mexican staple than shortbread. And we are gonna use three sticks of mantequilla marca Gloria. This brand, Gloria, in addition to making pretty good and reasonably affordable butter, uh, and one of the few like actual butter, not butter substitutes in Mexico. Um, anyway, in addition to making a good actual butter, they donate a certain percent of their profits towards education in Mexico and scholarships, which I think is great. So this is a really cool company. Also, nothing to do with that brand, but when you want to say that something tasted absolutely wonderful, like you've been out of the country for three weeks and you haven't had tacos and you finally come back and you have delicious tacos, you could say, me supieron o me supo a gloria. It tasted like glory. And the last thing that we're gonna need for baking shortbread is just plain white sugar. I'm gonna mix my ingredients, but first I'm just gonna preheat the oven. I think it's actually kind of a general Latin American thing using the oven as a storage space for your pots and pans. I still remember the first time I saw it when I was doing a semester abroad and I just thought it was such a waste of good baking space. I told myself I was never going to let it happen in my house, but I caved. So now anytime I want to bake shortbread or any other thing, I have to take everything out of the oven and then preheat it and do the whole business. It's kind of like an occupational hazard of living in Mexico, or gajes del oficio. That would be occupational hazard, gajes del oficio. So I am gonna empty out this oven and I'm gonna get baking that shortbread, but thank you for tuning in, thank you for learning more about Spanish and about Mexican culture. And if you have any questions about Spanish, especially during quarantine, aprovecha, take advantage, learn all that you can. I am here to be your guide. We'll see you in the next one, take care.